Yes. Right, my plan is to trans uh, repot both of these into the one that one big pot that I've taken the flamingo willow out of. But I'm going to do it in a left-handed glove and a right hand because I've worn out my right hand glove repointing my wall. <laughs> and now that wall looks like a 1970s concrete car park that's not coming down in my lifetime. So I'm going to have to cover that in um, something. <laughs> oh god. Hi. Hi. Oh god. I spent most of my life looking for something I've just put down somewhere. Can you see those plastic tongs anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. These have been neglected by me, obviously, for quite a while in the in the corner in the dark shady spot. So what I'm going to do? What's all that? What's up? What's up? You're too hot. Yeah, I know. So uh, what I'm going to do is get rid of all that growth. So what's the roots from the weeds and what's the roots from the plant? Oh, I'm going to have to dig it all out. Hang on. So I've taken off most of the the surface weed and I'm ho I was hoping that it was actually just going to be on the surface but I think the roots go in so deep I'll probably be living with that forever. And uh, I found the label, that was the Corner Line Red Star. And it was only £3 when I bought it but it was only about, about that big. So I think this is about three years old, and I've pulled the root structure out, just loosened that off a bit so it's got a bit of room to grow, and put it in with the other one. My cold scuttle was a good idea, that worked a treat. I think I have to shuck some in. Okay, lovely. I've squished all that compost down, firmed them in really good and proper. I've got so many pests in this yard and, and I just can't really seem to get on top of it. I know a lot of my friends have the same problem. It's just out of control. And I'm organic so I don't use any um, chemicals. But if you see things like this, these are fine weevil eggs. Best thing to do is just brush them. You, uh, you can't win though. They will always win. Maybe they deserve to. Anyway. I found this little bronze begonia um, in a corner and technically it should have just been an annual. It shouldn't have come back. It should not have survived the winter, but it has and it's beautiful. So what I'm going to do is plant it in the quarter lines because I think it will 
complement the bronze leaves of the Cordelion Red Star beautifully. So I'm going to plant that in the big pot. And even though I went out for kitty litter yesterday and essentials, and I vowed never to buy another plant because everything's get, getting eaten in the yard, and you know I can't resist a rescue. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Begonia. Oh, sorry. So um, I got this tray of six fantastic electric pink geraniums from Dobby's. So they're going to go in as well. I think they look beautiful. Sorry, bugs. I'm sorry. This is my homage to local borough council planting. It looks like a roundabout, welcoming you to Bournemouth. <laughs> They're a bit leggy, but um, let's give them a chance. If slugs don't get them. I managed to get a few blueberries this year. Not many. I didn't even notice the flowers, to be honest. It's been a terrible year for flowers and fruit, especially in those berry trees. Pointless. Barely saw a leaf, to be honest. The caterpillars were just ready and waiting before the buds appeared. So, that's depressing. I've got to go. I'm going to take them out. There's two in there. There's a purple one and a green one and I'm going to just take them both out together. Bag up the root ball and see if anyone can save it. But, ugh, oh, kid. It's not staying. Bye bye. There, I could pull them up and there's barely any roots on them to be honest. I wonder if that was the vine weevils. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe that was tasty. Anyway, it's gone now. Hi, baby. I also went to B and Q to get a masonry bit to drill some holes in the wall to put some hanging baskets up, but I didn't have the right glasses on, so I couldn't see the bits. I couldn't see the ends of the bits. <laughs> uh, but the day was saved because I bought this. Fabulously huge astobe, even though I'm on a plant ban. And it was cheap, I don't know why, I don't know what's wrong with it. It's astobe sister Teresa. And I googled it and it said it preferred shade, so I've pulled out everything from the back and I've replanted it into that big pot. I've taken those gooseberries out of there, put the astobe in. Hopefully I'll get some bees as opposed to blue bottles in the garden. Anyway. Oh! Hi! Look at the devil! Hooray! Is that some more? Is that a fly? I think it's happening! <laughs> 